Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna draw something that looks like this in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. I'm gonna click on Create New, go to Digital and click on Square. As usual, I have a color palette for you guys. You can find the link to download it in the description box below. Go ahead and download it onto your iPad or your device that you're using Fresco on. And then once you have it, click on Photos, go to Photos and bring it in. Click on Done. And now see you have a range of colors and we're going to add it to our palette. To do that, all you have to do that, make sure you're on some brush, click and hold until this icon pops up and you can see that this color gets picked up. All you have to do next is draw on your artboard. Doesn't matter which brush you're on, it automatically creates a new layer. And once this happens, if you click on your colors and if you go into recents, you can see that color over here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up all the colors so that all of them appear over here. Once you have all the colors ready, you can click on this eye here to hide that layer and also this layer. Okay, so let's start with the artwork. For this, you're going to use the built-in shape guides that we have in Fresco. To use that, let's go ahead and click and hold on this ruler here. And I'm going to use a polygon, but reduce the size here by using this minus button so that you have a triangle. And once you have this, you can just go ahead and place it wherever you want by moving it around. I'm going to reduce the size. And you can use this to increase the size or reduce the size. So I'm just going to start off with any triangle that I have like this. And my idea is to make at least three of them. I'll place it somewhere around here like this. And I'm going to go ahead and choose some color. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll just start off by using this yellow color and go to your fill tool and click on this transform here. But before you fill, you have to create a new layer. So go ahead and click on a new layer here and now click inside and we'll choose a vector by the way. Click on vector and this fills up. Now I'm going to slowly move this to the side and make sure you're somewhere, you know, proper. It's okay if it's a little overlapped and such, it doesn't matter so much. All you have to do next is click on this and click on fill and we're going to move it again, fill, again and fill. It's okay if there's a gap here, don't worry, we're going to fix that. And once you're done, you can actually click on the shapes again and it goes away. So now I'll click on the transform tool and I'm going to increase the size so that it goes and fits the artboard like this. By the way, if you don't see these snap lines, you can go ahead into this and click on alignment guides and you should be able to see those blue lines which just appear to show which is the center. Okay, like this. Once you're done, click on done. Now go to your fill tool again and click on this icon here so that this area gets filled up completely. So now we have first one ready, but it's not done yet because we need to add some shadows. Okay, so now it's time to add some shadows and to do that, click on this and click on duplicate layer. Now we have two of them, go to the layer in the bottom. In your fill tool, choose black and let's click and color this black. Obviously you won't see it because it's behind the yellow layer, but you can see the tiny glimpses of it, right? That's what you do. Okay. So click on this transform tool now, and then we are going to bring it up a little bit, very little so that there's this thin line by the way. Also, it's an easy way to give an outline to your artwork. Just remember that, you know, if you duplicate it, color it with black and then just move it a little, you can give an outline. Okay. Click on done, but this definitely doesn't look like a shadow, right? So I'm going to go into the smoothing tool or the smudge brushes tool and go into dry media and click on graphite and it is set to 430 and the strength is set to 23 and I want to smudge this layer but you can't smudge vector layers so click and click on convert to pixel layer and you can use your brush to smudge it but you see it doesn't come out that great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger to smudge it but I'm going to do it in this direction so that the smudging is subtle if I do it like this it becomes very dark we don't want that so you can use two fingers to undo things and smudge it in this direction you can also use your brush but it does not look that great so I'm going to use my fingers and smudge it like that okay that looks good and I think yeah, and that looks fine. So now it's time to add some highlights. So click on a new layer and make sure you click on this clipping mask so that whatever highlight we had comes only on the yellow layer, by the way. And I'm going to go into my brushes. Uh, you can go into basic and soft round opacity and you can choose white. And we're gonna add a bit of white here, only on this side. 
by the way you can't see it so well now because the color is like very light but once you have the background pop up you can actually see it so i'm just going to add only over here so what i mean is i'm just adding here in this region like this okay okay so once that's done now it's time to group them together so you should be in one of these three layers click on these three dots create select multiple now click click and then click on this folder icon to group them together so that they're all in one group now let's go ahead and duplicate it shall we so let's duplicate layer group and now i'm going to change this color so double click to go into the group click on the yellow layer go to your colors and it should be this one and go to your fill tool and color it like this now go outside and click on the transform tool because we want to move the group itself so click and move it down a bit like that and click on done and yeah click on continue click and duplicate layer group double click choose a different color that's supposed to be that color and click on the fill tool okay color this off and go outside transform tool and let's go back and color this like this and click on done continue okay so we have three of these things now let's go ahead and go back to this yellow layer click and duplicate layer group so now we're going to go do all the layers below this yellow layer so here it is double click click on the yellow color and after yellow we have this so it's it goes from here so like that and i'm going to go ahead and color the yellow layer and you can't see it because it's behind so go back and then use the transform tool and then bring it up a notch like that and you can see it snaps so make sure you turn on that guide zone okay and click on done so i'm going to go ahead and do that for all the colors right now Okay, so if you're done with your art board and you still have few more colors you want, just continue with the colors from the bottom, okay? So, all right, so our artwork is actually ready and now it's time to go ahead and edit if you feel like some things are missing. You can go ahead and add extra bits to it. For example, if you feel like you want some circles in between or something. So I'm just gonna go here and click on the shape, click and hold by the way, to get this one, click on circle and I'm gonna make it much smaller and probably place it here. I don't know where it's gonna end up, but let's see. And uh, maybe make this, this yellow okay and color it okay that looks good and then i'm going to go ahead and click on it again so that it goes away now let me click on my transform tool and move it somewhere that i want i don't know why it's showing up here maybe there are some rogue stroke that's why and i want it here that is about pink so let's go ahead and place it somewhere where there's pink okay you have to click on done click and hold so that it gets highlighted and now you can move it wherever you want and when you place it you can see okay let's do this here it's about pink yeah there you go it's sitting there so nicely so use your transform tool and let's bring it so that the sun kind of looks like that click on done and now i'm going to click on this and click on duplicate layer and go back to the bottom layer use the black and fill it so that you know this behind it's filled and now i'm going to go ahead and convert this into pixel layer because you know we need to smudge this so i'm going to smudge it like this it's not nicely smudged so maybe a little no maybe a little bit yeah maybe that much not a lot very little and you have the sun ready as well so basically you can go add such things to wherever you want and it's not just circles you can actually add other shapes as well and you can also go ahead and highlight this a little bit more if you wanted to see that i missed highlighting this side here but i've highlighted everywhere else okay so that brings us to the end of this tutorial and i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell do check out my other fresco videos there's a playlist called fresco uh, on my youtube channel so go ahead and check that out as well you can always support this channel by buying me a coffee on ko-fi.com you can find the link to do that in the description box below or you can also share this video with your friends and family or anybody who's interested in fresco or you think would be interested in fresco or digital art as such 
If you do create something with my tutorials, make sure to tag me on Instagram as Premium Color or Thing Beyond Color. I would love to check it out. Okay, I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.